YouTube, I'm Ulrich Zebulon, and I'm going to show you how to uh, start a uh, Minecraft uh, bucket server on Ubuntu. So let's get started. First, you need to open up your web browser and look up Craft Bucket. And uh, I usually go with the recommended build. And we'll save that file. And this will take just a little bit of time. Okay, once that's done, uh, next you're going to need to uh, go into the essentials uh, bucket. Uh, it's not totally necessary. You can run it just with the... Uh, the craft bucket, but I like some of the features Essentials Bucket has. Uh, there's a bunch of things you can do. I generally just download the Essentials Core. And same thing, save the file. That's a quick one. And now you can get out of your uh, web browser. Go to your downloads file and move those uh, two items to your desktop. After that, you're going to need to create a new folder. Uh, you can name it anything you want. This is your uh, server folder. You can name it Fred if you like. Uh, personally, I call it uh, My World or Pat's World. And there we go. That is your server. Uh, your server folder. Now take those two items you just downloaded off the web and throw it in there and open that up. I like to look at this in list form, and let's make this a little bit smaller so we can see everything else that's going on. Okay, next you need to open up Terminal, uh, which is Alt F2, for those of you who don't know. Um, there's the little building thing on the bottom, and usually TER will get Terminal. Double click on that, and now you got Terminal running. Um, I also have a copy this file that I'm going to go ahead and throw into my uh, my server folder. This way here keeps everything all nice and tidy. You'll see a whole bunch of new things popping up here in a second. Open the copy this uh, folder and it's the general command cd disk desktop uh, backslash and then whatever you named your server folder. Go ahead and copy that and paste it into Terminal. Now Terminal's looking at your, uh, your server folder. Now there's another goofy uh, thing uh, I'm going to copy. I'm going to put that up so you can read it a lot easier. And let me put this up here and we'll discuss what this all means. Uh, you'll see Java, which is the program. Uh, X, you'll see two things, XMX and XMS with the following number. What this is is the amount of memory you're allocating to the game. Uh, I'm using uh, one and a half gig or uh, 1536 uh, megabytes, uh, which is one and a half gig. The reason why I'm doing this is my primary server, which is a Pentium 4, only has two and a half gig and I like to allow one gig just for the uh, operating system to run. Uh, after that you'll see uh, the, you know, let me open this up a little bit there so it makes a little more sense here. There we go. Then you'll see the jar and then craft bucket with a big long name. What that is is what is what you just downloaded off the internet. Uh, you can shorten that if you like. Uh, I like to leave all that in so I know what version of Craft Bucket I'm using. Uh, go ahead and press enter and get that started. And you'll notice here in your uh, server folder a whole bunch of new stuff just suddenly popped up. Uh, in terminal, a bunch of stuff is happening. It's creating spawn areas and such. And it's going to take a little bit of time, usually not too much though. So we'll, so we'll wait for this to get done while I'm drinking a beer. 
and here we go um you notice a whole bunch of stuff just got formed on here but there's a little bit more i want to do so uh what i'm going to do now is i'm going to stop my server so type in stop and takes a little bit and the server is stopped um now you'll notice a few things happening here you'll see a world world nether world end if you are starting a new server and you want to start a new world don't do anything uh presently though i have my own world that i want to bring in here so i'm going to take these three items and i'm going to throw them into the trash bin uh in its place I'm going to grab my uh, Pat's World. Uh, craft Bucket divides uh, your world into three sections. Your regular world, the nether, and the end. Uh, if you're bringing one uh, from your regular Minecraft, you can go ahead and do it. And Craft Bucket will figure it out and split the worlds apart for you. Uh, so there's no problem there. Um, so we got that in there. Next, we... You notice how I have it named Pat's World. I have to uh, tell the uh, server where to look. So we need to look into server properties. Um, tick tock, tick tock, wait for this to catch up. Okay, uh, under uh, server properties, you'll see world name. Uh, we're going to name that what it is, and that's Pat's World. And once again, that can be anything you want to name it or just uh, leave it at the default at world. Uh, there's a few other interesting things in here we'll talk about. Um, server port, if you're doing an external server, you'll need to know that number, the uh, 25565. Um, You'll notice difficulty. Right now it's set at 1. That means you have monsters. You can set that to 0, which means no monsters. Uh, maximum number of players. They have that set at 20. Uh, my server is not that great of a server. It's a, like I said, it's a P4. And I'm going to bring that down to 10. No, don't press return. Um, and you can mess around with this and see some of the other stuff. Uh, usually I just worry about maximum players, the difficulty, and the level name. Go ahead and save that. And close that window. Next, uh, you're going to want to take a look at the ops text. Open that up. And type in your character name if you want to be able to opt in and type in commands uh, while you're playing the game on your own computer. Otherwise, you have to come to your server to uh, change or do anything. So I'm going to type my name in. And my partner, the travesty, I'm going to put him in too. And uh, anybody else you want in, I don't recommend putting too many people in unless you know you can trust them. Uh, go ahead and save that and close that window. Uh, next, uh, you're going to need to deal with the essential zip and get that in. So go ahead and extract that. And you'll notice a uh, new folder just popped up on the top here, essentials, and then... Uh, the version of it. Go ahead and grab whatever uh, jars you have on here. The basic only has a uh, four and drop that into the plugins folder which now has that. Um, at this point you should be ready to uh, start up uh, your server again. So go ahead and recopy the, uh, the Java command line And go ahead and place that, edit, paste, and start your server up again. And you'll notice Essentials went zipping by, so it talked to uh, these four folders. It opened up a few new things. And uh, this is just way it keeps track of players, warp points, so on and so forth. Um, 
Now that your server is running, you, I'm going to go over to my other computer and make sure it's all running. And I see on my other computer that it's here. So I'm going to go ahead and join the server. Uh, if uh, I pre-did this, uh, if you're running on your internal landline, you'd have to look up your computer's IP address and type that in on your other computer. But you'll notice here that uh, Ulrich Zebulon logged in. Um, to show that I have my ops bit, I'm going to put myself in God mode. And you'll see God mode enabled. And I can also type in fly. And there's all sorts of other neat things you can get into that are really neat. Uh, if you want to know the commands that you can do, go ahead and type in question mark. And that will give you all the list of commands and a quick description of what they all are. I have a D-Link cable modem that allows me to talk to the outside world. If you want your friends to be able to play on your server, you're going to need to set up your uh, uh, modem in uh, such a way. In D-Link, this is what I end up doing. I created a uh, uh, file under virtual servers, named it Minecraft. Uh, it put in the IP address of the computer that is running my server on my local uh, landline network. Then I uh, inputted the uh, port number, which you would find under the uh, server uh, properties list that we were just looking at. Uh, and this sets up your uh, cable modem. Next, you need to look up what is my IP address, which will give you this address for your cable modem, in my case the D-Link. And then you put in a colon, and then you put in the port number, and that is what you give your friends that they can input on their computer to access your server, and so you guys can have fun and play uh, Minecraft. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, and uh, have fun playing Minecraft with your friends. Uh, good day.